Hey guys and welcome back. This video is going to be a beauty hacks video. So many YouTubers have made a similar video to this, especially Roxaurus and Kosher Beauty whose channels I really really love and I just wanted to put one together with all of my own beauty hacks, my own beauty tips and the hacks that I actually use. So not just things that you could use that are a little bit bizarre or random but the things that I actually do use and I would highly recommend. So let's get right in with hack number one. If you have quite thin hair or hair that is quite flat naturally, I would highly recommend drying your hair upside down. Take your usual hair dryer, sit on the end of the bed, flip your hair over and just dry your hair with your hands, running your hands through your hair, letting gravity do all of the work. So just make sure you dry your hair upside down until it's completely, utterly dry, flip it over and you'll find your hair has so much more volume and so much more body. Hack number two. This hack is all about washing your brushes. There are a lot of products out there that would make you spend a lot of money just to clean your favourite makeup brushes. All you may need are just some household products. Again, you could use your own hair shampoo and conditioners if you want to condition and shampoo your brushes, but I would recommend using a baby shampoo. Not only will a baby shampoo be much more gentle on all of your really expensive or beautiful brushes, and it'll keep them in much better condition, but you'll also find that baby shampoo is a lot cheaper than your favourite shampoos or your favourite brush cleansers or anything else that you use on your brushes. It costs less and it's much better for your brushes. Hack number three. If you really love to contour every day but you're finding it's taking up a lot of your time in the morning, I would highly recommend skipping that step and moving straight into bronzer. You can create very very similar effects. You take your favourite brush, you take your favourite bronzer and you just start to bronze in a number three shape. So imagine that your cheek is the middle of the three and you work it over the top and round in the number three shape. You'll find that you'll create a really easy bronze look that's quite contoured and quite chiselled with just an easy number three movement. Hack number four. If you love your cheekbones to be extremely highlighted and glowing and beautiful, but you're finding it quite difficult to find exactly where you want to place your highlight. For me, I find it's all about finding the light. Find a light and make sure it starts to hit the very top of your cheekbones. Take your highlighter, look into the light. As soon as the light starts to catch on your cheek, that's where you can start to place your highlight straight down that beam, just to enhance the overall highlight. Hack number five. Recent makeup trends have all been about the eyebrows and therefore there are so many different eyebrow products on the market, it's quite difficult to know exactly what you need to use. For this hack, I would highly recommend just finding yourself a spoolie. A spoolie is one of the best ways to get natural, well-groomed and perfected eyebrows. Regardless of whether you fill your eyebrows in with a pencil or with a little pot and a brush, spoolie is your saviour when it comes to making sure the hairs are all in the same direction, excess product has been removed and the brows are much more perfected. Hack number six. If you're someone that loves to wear eyeliner every single day, like I do, but you're finding it looks a little bit harsh on the eyes, it's making your eyes look a little bit small. Try reverting over to a brown liner. Seems quite simple, but by just changing over to a brown from the black, it looks much more natural, much more sultry, and you can get away with it for any type of occasion. It still helps to make your eyes stand out and look much more prominent, but without being so bold and so harsh. Hack number seven. If you have really straight lashes and you're really struggling to keep them curled all day, it's all about curlers and a waterproof mascara. I've tried and tested this method for years and it's all about keeping the curlers on the lashes for a minute or so, just plumping as you go and holding them really steadily on the lashes to make sure the curl is really large and perfected. Then and only then when you're happy with your curl on the lashes is when you need to go in with a waterproof mascara. This is one of my favourites, this is the Clarins waterproof mascara but you can try any that you really really prefer with more of a dry formula. The drier the formula of the mascara the less it's going to be wet on the lashes and therefore help them to start to move down again. So when your lashes are curled find a dry formula waterproof mascara and coat your lashes and you'll find the curl will hold all the day. Hack number eight. After you've applied your eyeliner and your mascara and your beautiful eyeshadow and you find that you've managed to get the mascara wand or your eyeliner all over your actual eyelid. I know so many of us probably did this every single morning. There are a few ways to get around it and clean it up perfectly. First one obviously being a cotton bud and taking your favourite makeup remover. Just to count a small amount of the product onto your cotton bud and then use the cotton bud to wipe away large areas of mistakes. If you find that you have an eyeliner issue and your eyeliner isn't quite on point that day, do the same thing, this time with a very slim brush, put some product onto the brush and use the brush to reline underneath the 
the eyes and remove any excess that you may have left. And as a third idea, this is a product I've been using a lot recently, the B Brow Bar Brow Corrector. It already has product on the top of a little nib and again you can use this to go into your brows, go over any mistakes on your mascara or to clean up your eyeliner. Hack number nine. This hack is all about the lips and if you're someone who loves to wear lipstick a lot but forgets to line your lips first, that is a trick first of all that I would highly recommend you start to do. It really will help to make your lips so much more larger, fuller and more perfected. This hack is about your technique when you're lining. If you line your lips from below, working upwards in a more rounded motion up to your cupid's bow, you'll be left with a much more fuller pout than if you line in a straight line. If you line your lips in a more of a straight line up to the cupid's bow, you'll find in the end your lips will look much thinner and nowhere near as plumped. Whereas if you just work from the outer corner up to your cupid's bow in a more rounded motion, you'll find the end result will be much thicker, plumper, fuller lips. Hack number 10. Again, if you're wanting your lips to look a little bit more full, why don't you try the ombre effect lip? It's much easier than you may think and it only takes your favourite lipstick and one more product. Just apply your lipstick as normal and when you're happy you can take a concealer or a very light lipstick. Take a bit of the product and dab it right into the centre of the bottom lip. You can also work a little bit into the inside of the top lip as well. Once you blend in the product, you'll find you're left with an ombre lip effect. Inside the lips will be lighter, moving out to your favourite lipstick colour. It literally takes two products. And those are all of my beauty hacks. Let me know if you have any other beauty hacks that you actually use. Leave them down below in the comments. I'd love to read through some more of yours. If you like this video, please do let me know by leaving me a like. Just hit the like button just down below. Let me know what you thought about it. I can always film some more hacks for you. You. If you are new and you've just come along now then please hit the subscribe button and come back for two videos every single week and if that's the case then I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Mwah.